Hi everyone, hope you are doing well for whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when anyone in the Kenya Kwanza government hears you talking about demonstration, protest, mass action, they quickly relate you with Azmio La Umoja. They profile you as Azmio, they see you as Azmio, they see you as opposition. And they view you as one as enemy number one of their administration. So that has been the perception in this country. So they will dismiss anyone if you try to voice out what you want them to hear through protest. They just brand you as me. But as we're speaking now, doctors have been waiting for long. And now they have announced that they're going to have a strike on Tuesday, September 12th, that will take place in Nairobi. Sasa wajipange. Kama wataita madaktari watu wazimio ni sawa. But the message is going to go out. And this strike is going to involve the Kenya Medic Practitioners and the Pharmaceutic Dentist Union. That is KMPDU. So, they wrote a letter, and that letter, through the Secretary General, it has been delivered to the Kilimani OCPD, detailing the place or route they're going to use for that demonstration. So, it's obvious the demonstration is going to, to start from the Kenyatta National Hospital. Procession will continue with a stopover at the Ministry of Health, the uh, uh, office, Minister of Health office, then they will go straight to the Council of Governors headquarters at Long Chiromo Road. That is what is going to happen in this country. Why are they demonstrating? Number one, poor working condition. Number two, understaffing in hospitals. Number three, uh, uh, salary deduction. I'm told even some governors are reducing the doctor's salary by 30%. Then no promotion among other things. And I want to quote them. This is what they are saying in the letter. The letter that, they, the letter that they, they, they delivered to OCPD. This is to notify you that doctors in bracket, consultants, medical practitioners, pharmaceuticals, dentists, register, uh, registers, interns, and the medical students in Kenya will be holding a peaceful procession on Tuesday, September 12th, 2023 at 10 a.m. to deliver a petition on the state of health care in Kenya. There are unprecedented shortages of doctors and health workers, healthcare workers amid unemployment and a underemployment crisis in both private and pri in both public and private hospitals. Now, this is not the first time doctors want to go to the street to, to protest. It was not long ago they were there. After, in fact, it was during Azmio demos. There was a time when doctors were protesting close to a week. You could not get any service. So it's a repetition of what they have already been doing. We are continuing this particular discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, as I said, the reasons why doctors are on the road is very clear. We have less doctors in hospital. But no one is caring about the kind of people or 
patients that these doctors and medic practitioners have to take care of. So there's understaffing. It means they are overworking. Kazi ya watu kumi inafanyo na watu sita. They are saying this one should come to an end. Employ more doctors. Like I have heard the story about Nakuru. Gawana Susa Nikihika. This allegation that she is reducing doctor's salary by 30%. Sasa kama ulikuwa na earn 100 inarudi 70. Just imagine that is going and she keep on telling doctors that she's promoting them. Is that a promotion? Ada ni heri mshara yangu ibaki hivyo kuliko sasa kusema hiyo promotion yako. Which promotion? So you have to check on their working condition, salary and other things so we are waiting to see Kenya Kwanza profiling doctors as as mere people referring to them as busy bodies because that is what they know and Ruto as the president is the man who will carry any blame in this country If it is success, he's the one who is going to take credit. And in equal measures, in all failures, he has to take responsibility. So as we are speaking now, in our hospitals, we will not have doctors. We don't know if it will be for one day or if it will continue when there will be disagreement. Governors are also contributing a lot in terms of the problem that doctors are facing. In matters to do with health care. Health care is the world function. But we see the, the funds have been held up there at the executive level. Kwa ministry of health huko juu. Na governor hapa anapewa peanut ya kuran county government and health sector in the county level. Why is it that devolution 10 years? Bado, pesa zingali kule juu. Sasa kutakuwa na magonjwa hospitali ambao watakuwa na daktari ya kuwahudumia. Wengine watakuwa kwa mashine na sasa sijui watasurvive namna gani. Wengine watakuwa wamekuja kule kujifungua hatujui mambo itakuwa namna gani. Because doctors will be on the road. So as Ruto walk outside they are talking big. Then the only result at home is all about demonstration. Then we are saying that we have a president who seemingly is standing out among african president how mtu mwenye lugha ambayo anatumiwa kuongeleshwa ni maandamano he can't sit down with people and sort out problem sasa maandamano inakuja hii kisha tujui itakuwa ingine ni gani it is because they don't listen it is because they are holding all the resources at the national level ile wanapea governor ni kidogo hata ile ya governor ako nayo ananyanyasa hawa madaktari na wahuduma wengine kwa hospitali then you expect them to deliver how how do you pay these doctors poorly like this and you expect them to deliver this is just encouraging mambo kama maandamano na ufisadi so that is now the emerging news be prepared to miss doctors to miss someone to attend or that you might need to attend to you in the hospital sasa ma hospitali zitakuwa in a limbo There will be no operation taking place courtesy of failures of governors and the William Ruto's government or administration. Wasungumpo pia nimesikia kwa taarifa yako umerudia azimio azimio au watu walikuwa na azimio Sasa nikapata kidogo wasiwasi kwa sababu kule kwetu Azimio ni mambo mengine. <laughs> Azimio ni chama ya upinzani iko na fujo kweli.
lakini hata hivyo eh, nimeelewa tena kwamba azimio kumbe yanaweza kuwa ni mambo mazuri ya makubaliano